Hello. Um, today we will study unit circle and trigonometric function. Okay. Um, suppose we have a um, triangle. Right triangle. Okay. In the SY, SY plane. Okay. That's like plane. This angle over here, delta. Okay. If it is in sine theta, will be equal the opposite. This one, uh, y. Divide by this one. Y equal R, okay? Say R is the max. And also cosine theta defined by just okay, divide by this so X divide by R. Okay. Adjunction. Adjunction side divided by Hypothesis side and then opposite side divided by hypothesis side. Okay, in tension of theta equal sine over cosine sine theta over cosine theta to y over r divided by x over r. Then it's equal y over x. But here the definition of sine and cosine in x and y coordinate, coordinate, okay? So, okay, so in life, we, um, we, uh, we expand this, we, uh, um, we have our direction by using x and y in two, direct, two dimension plane. So we have x and y to uh, to know what direction we are okay but in here so okay so it, 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 this is a, a definition of psi theta on xy plan okay so now we will study the new definition of the coordinate so here we have s and y coordinate okay okay so Okay, let's put this X and Y in the circle and see what happens. And you will find out side theta, cosine theta, tangent theta. Okay. So remember this side, uh, this, uh, this uh, triangle. Okay, let's draw a circle. Still X and Y. Let's put two together, okay? The uh, X and Y direction, and you put a circle, unit circle with the radius one. So from here to here, it's one. Unit circle R equal one. R equal one, and you put exactly the right angle we just have in the first picture, okay? Okay, you have zero here, O, okay, and uh, theta right here. Okay, now, now psi of theta, psi of theta, okay, this one, this point right here, K point right here, and colonel of X, Y. 
Okay, so x from here and y go down here. This is your y. Okay, and this is your x right here. Now, we 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 find sine theta. Okay, sine theta. Sine theta. Sine theta equal this side over the radius. So it go this side equal y. So y divide this one. This one divide the radius side equal one. So sine theta equal y. And similarly, similarly, this one cosine theta right here equal this this length adjacent divided by r so cosine theta equal x divided by r okay in this case i equal one okay so in x and y currently um now we have okay we have this this right here x hit uh, the point a right here instead you uh, instead of uh Using S and Y, you can say A it goes from point. Let's say it's from point point I go from point A on the unit circle. Okay. So if we use it, the theta right here. So since S, if you should since uh, R equal one, so so here the A will be if we use the the new coordinate is called circular coordinate. So A will be equal cosine theta sine theta. Okay. So I think uh, on X and Y or I A can you can write cosine theta and sine theta. Okay. So this circle from unit circle. And A have the new coordinate. A with cosine theta and sine theta. Okay, pay attention. This quad this, this one triangle. This one uh, so the the first quadrant right here one you have uh cosine positive and and sine positive okay and the second quadrant two here you have sine positive and cosine negative and the third quadrant you have cosine negative sine negative and the four four quadrant Four quadrant, you have the uh, sine negative and cosine positive. Okay, so the angle will go from counterclockwise. Okay, this side. So this end, this angle right here, you will start from zero. And it when it go up in here, pi over two, and this one pi, and this one three pi over two, and if you were back here, you have two pi. Okay. So in this one, a have the x y coordinate, and they have uh, they have uh, circular circular coordinate. Cosine theta, this one, and sine theta. Okay, sine theta, this one, this one. Okay, if r equal one, because sine theta equal y over divided by r, but in this case, r equal one, it's unicycle. So sine theta equal y, and cosine theta equal x over r, x over r, so x equal one. Okay, so. And 
So you have like, okay, so here that's a new definition of uh, uh, of the trigonometric function, that's the definition of trigon, uh, trigonometric function. And you can find it by putting on the circular coordinate, you can have a more concept, you can see it very clearly, so you can, you can get the, well, you have a pointer here, okay. Okay, so if you want to calculate the angle, then you just, you calculate this angle, okay. Okay, so, so since that is equal to one, so this point will be equal, let's say, uh, this, let's say this one, uh, uh, this angle equal uh, alpha, right here. So you want to calculate this, right? You want to calculate this angle. You cannot use, the, you cannot calculate using this because it's not the right angle. This one, you cannot apply um, sine theta equal hypothesis divide by um, by uh, I mean adjacent divide hypothesis, or oh, and also opposite divide by hypotenuse. You cannot apply this one. Sine theta cannot equal let's say um, opposite divide by um, hypotenuse. Okay. You can have you this because it's not right angle, it's bigger. Okay, this only this formula can be applied, can only apply on this. Okay, so in order to find this tri triangle, not to find this uh, uh, angle or side theta or cosine theta. If you put in this circle right here, then you easy to find it. Since this one, okay, if you find this that how far right here? If you find this side of uh, how far here, then you can find this angle. Okay, so this one. So, so you have like D right here. You have like x prime, y prime. Okay, then you have uh, then you have side of alpha equal this one y prime. This one x prime will be equal y prime. Divide by R and cosine alpha equal x y divided by R. Okay, so uh, you when you you um and um sin alpha equal one, so then you have psi alpha equal y pi and cosine alpha equal X five. That's fine. Okay. And if you use it, sine alpha, cosine alpha, alpha, and if you divide it, you get tangent alpha. Equal y prime divide x prime. Then you will know the alpha angle. Okay, when you know the alpha angle, the whole thing is 180 degree. So you you just take let's say this one um, gamma, okay, this big angle is gamma, then you have gamma will be equal one hundred eighty degree minus alpha, okay. We see you cannot find in this coordinate x y plane, but on the unit circle you have more open, you can you can see the bigger angle, and you can. See you can um, uh, see a bigger angle and you can find the angle you need to find. Okay, so uh, this um, so this is trigonometric sine theta, sine alpha, sine theta on unit circle. Okay. So, okay, next time we will uh, go over some special value of, of uh, uh, theta. Like if theta equal pi over 2 then sine theta equal equal square root 2 over 2 okay you just need to memorize the first quadrant then you will 
uh, remember the rest by applying them uh, pi of pi over pi over two different. Okay, so I um to understand more, so please open your book and follow unit circle and triangle trigonometric function in free calculus. Okay, this is very important for free calculus for on class or for on rewind class in um, graduate like um any major diff of other than math like economic business biology you know like major finance philosophy whatever major you they only you only to study uh free calculus to understand basic math and basic trigonometric function okay next time we'll go over uh the special value of trigonometric function on unit circle or on circular coordinate okay so um, i see you next video next uh, lesson thank you